I'm 42 years old and I have uh, suffered with disordered eating probably since I was eight years old. It's been quite a struggle over the um, last 35 plus years. I have gone up and down in weight three or four times, 100 pounds, and gone up and down from 20 to 30 pounds numerous times. I have always struggled with weight. I've struggled with food and been just really thoroughly confused by it. I started working with Jared about uh, nine months ago. I got to a point where I just felt hopeless, where I couldn't bear to start a new diet, and the diets became more extreme, and they never worked. So I reached out to Jared and began working with him, and um, my work with him has been really uh, extremely helpful, and uh, I would even say life-changing. So I would definitely recommend anyone who's having uh, uh, difficulties with eating or uh, weight to really give it a try because um, he has some very good things to, to give people and, and help. Uh, for me, in the program, I, I guess the most difficult thing that you know anyone's going to have to admit to to start the program is their issue is not with food and weight. I mean, you might be overweight, you might be underweight, <clears throat> but that is not your issue. It's more just a symptom. And um, so when I first started working with Jared, this was very hard to give up because for me, the goal's always been to lose weight. And if you tell me it's not to lose weight, it it just <laughs> it doesn't sound good to me. But um, I was able to kind of put that on the side. And, and, and the thing is, really, if you can kind of get a hold of this thing and learn about it and kind of change different things in your life, your eating will become normal. And when you eat normal, you just, you know, your, your body will just lose weight because you're not getting so many extra calories from the binges and restricting cycle that people are doing. And so... And I think, as I mentioned a little while earlier, um, our problems have nothing to do with uh, food or weight. And uh, so by working with Jared, he was able to show me how it really came down to my emotions. Um, you know, emotions that we're not listening to, we're not processing, we're not feeling it could even be emotions from the past, the present, fear about the future. And I think for a lot of us, we learned when we were younger to not feel emotions. If you feel negative emotions, you got to run from them and get away from them. And I think we started eating to numb ourselves or get away from those bad feelings. <clears throat> And then after you binge eat, you probably feel like crap and you focus on exercise and diet and losing weight. But from there, a whole cycle starts where we focused on food, binging, losing weight, gaining weight, eating to escape. And it, it creates a whole fantasy world where we don't deal with our real problems, that, which are really bothering us. And at least without what I've learned, this is kind of what the eating disorder is. And so when you work with Jared, he's going to first help you identify your urges to binge in real time. This has to do with journaling. So when you want to binge or you want to diet, whatever it is, you need to journal because what it really means is there's some type of feeling or difficult emotion coming up for you. And the key is to learn the tools from Jared of how to talk to these feelings and emotions, how to soothe them. And that way you, you don't need to binge. And uh, that's what I really learned from him. It's, um, it's a lot of work of soul searching. You have to talk about memories, thoughts, feelings, and it, it's difficult. Uh, it's very re re rewarding in healing. But in the moment, it's 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 hard work. 
But trust me, once you do it and you heal, it's much easier than the eating disorder and driving yourself crazy. So, I I, I mean, I would just like to, to share that with you, really. Just hopefully anyone who's struggling, again, with binging, restricting, trying to lose weight, and it's been going on for years, and you just feel kind of like you want to give up. Yeah, I, I would say you're at the right place. Uh, Jared's a very kind, intelligent, sweet man, and um, he can really help you, guide you to to a better place. And even for me now, um, I, nothing's perfect. I rarely binge, and when I do, it might be like, I don't know, I eat too much almond butter. But most of the time, I don't even turn to it. Um, I really just deal with my emotion in better, healthier ways. It could be as simple as taking a nap taking a shower, going for a walk, actually speaking to someone that's hurt you. You know, there's a lot of different ways to soothe ourselves other than other than eating. And uh, yeah, so I I wish you lots of luck in your journey. And uh, yeah. okay, thank you. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.